All right, hello again, YouTube. Welcome back to more from the depths. You rejoin us. Uh, basically, currently undergoing repairs to um, uh, repairs to our damaged ships. I do want to double check the cruiser is actually repairing. Are you actually repairing? You have repair bots on board. Receiving. No, so why not? They've been knocked out. They're in the boiler room, right? No, not the boiler room. It was the coal storage. No. Do I not put them in? Maybe I never installed them. I'll put them on for now. I won't put any more in because I didn't want to go too crazy with repair bots, but maybe I never did remember to put them in. Yeah, it is actually repairing now. Okay, I guess I just forgot them entirely. Let's, um... Oh, we'd actually better wait until it's fully repaired, but we'll save the uh, changes. Because it's fully fixed. We've got a bit of time anyway while the salvage approaches. Seems to be all quiet for the moment now. Oh, that was the other thing I thought of. I thought of this while uh, between episodes over lunch. I have realised that we need to um, add a little something else to our forces. That, of course, is our air force. We've got aeroplanes. We haven't been using them. I'm thinking we'll do for now. We'll have a small wing of two fighters and a bomber. That's what we'll go for for now. And we'll have that just escort the, uh, the rest of the, the vehicles rest of the fleet. They'll be able to respond much quicker. They'll be able to take on light ships. They'll be able to cause a uh, irritating distraction for the uh, surface vessels. It's not just outright actually hitting them. This thing, even the fighters weren't terrible at ground attacks, so... Uh, let's load in the, fire, the fighter and the light bomber. The pole. It's the real built wolf. Range with their end of the air wing. Listening, listening, listening. This will be. Oh. There's the air wing. We could have them join the attack on the uh, on the bunkers. They'll be able to catch up very quickly by comparison. Moving out. Yeah, Sixty-eight. It's just as fast as the cruiser when it's at full strength. So we're going to grow up that fleet ten k commodities to make sure they can continue repairs. So they're doing it slow. We could maybe do an actual uh, repair ship of some sort. Some kind of escort vessel. We might also have the salvagers set up a full um, a full base. Once it can, like a copy of our home base, maybe. Receiving. Moving now. Receiving. Moving now. Listening. Moving out. Bit of a look, it should still be there yet. Cruise is almost repaired. They haven't. Yeah, they haven't bought any more uh, reinforcements. Receiving. Moving now. Let's go. <coughs> I think that'll be good, good enough condition to make the attack. Yes. <laughs> yes, I would. Right. The fighters are up there. Fighter under this, the PT boat. Yeah, the fight. We want the... I think we'll add them all anyway, but we want the... <clears throat> the fighters and bombers. We want the PT boat Bs and the cruisers to have max priority. We'll be... We'll go aboard the bomber. Why not? Yeah, what I also need to remember is that... um. 
Uh, I need to set up the proper formation for the, um, the air wing. Oh, did I fuel the aircraft? I have not. Ah, uh, I forgot about this last time as well. Thankfully, they're quite sippy when it comes to resources. Listening. Ah, let's see how it's looking. Quite a good looking fleet, actually. Let's also pick whatever the uh, priority target should be. There's the bomber. Let's also make sure we're on board that. Ooh, looks like they've already shelled pretty heavily on whatever that is. I mean, good job, fellas, but that's the wrong target. That's the heaviest. Engaging now. Jesus Christ. Right. Look how loud they are when they all speak at once. Hey, there's the rockets. There's the bomber. Oh, he's getting very close to the ground, but he's okay. I think he even scored some hits. Now that comes the fighter on a dive bombing run. You, my friend, have... Oh my goodness. Uh, I was going to make the Star Wars, that's one hell of a pilot joke, but he did slightly scuff it. He must have been like a millimeter off the ground there for most of that run. My god. I'm impressed. I'm not going to lie. I'm genuinely impressed by that attack. That was ballsy. Stupid, perhaps, but ballsy. It's machine gunning someone's house. Oh dear, right. Oh. Is that the cruiser? The cruiser has beached itself. Probably taken a ton of damage in the process. It has taken some, definitely, yes. Uh yeah, I forgot the cruiser doesn't like operating near land because it's got a big turning circle. All that speed comes at a cost, I guess. Oh, well, we're taking some stupid damage, but it could be worse. Up. Yeah, thanks, terrain avoidance. Thanks for completely ignoring the obvious land in front of you. I hate from the depths of train avoidance. It does not work. <clears throat> it just does not work. It should be exactly the same as the water surface. It should work fine, but it just... Nah, it just doesn't. I didn't even realise the terrain here was this hilly. We could have bought some tanks. Or some amphibious landing craft if I'd known about. I see. Um, you okay, my guy? Hang on, hang on, I'll, I'll give him a helping hand. It's a little bit sad watching him stuck there. Hang on. So hang on, little buddy, we'll soon cut you free. There you go. <laughs> just cut the, just cut the supports. Catch at a factory. Don't think it does anything, but we'll scrap it and clear out some of the battlefield. As well, take the next house as well. We'll it look like they've got that one. Yeah, maybe don't shoot it when the commander of your entire army is wandering around next to it. I mean, yes, I shouldn't be here, really, but. that. You've crashed again, haven't you? I saw a fight. It. Dang, good job PT boats. Good hit. Yeah, the PT boat bees are actually doing okay at surface bombardment, which they should be. They're rockets. Maybe they're what we should be using to attack ground targets. That should free him. 
Up he goes. It's a good thing they can fly with that much damage. It's a good thing they dropped a bunch of salvage too, because you guys took stupid damage from that. A lot of it. As said, from the depths, terrain avoidance is not very good. Moving out. Right. Salvage it. Receiving. Moving now. Moving now. Get on there. Let's start getting some resources. We will also need a second transport. Receiving. My commander's gradually building up resources in the background. If we are chewing through the commodities, so we'll be able to build a second transport ship to to do relay runs effectively between the two. Uh, steam transport. At the moment, we'll continue to ship all our resources back to our high command and build from there. It is in the center of the map, so it's actually not a bad spot to build from in general. We do seem to have a, uh, a fairly optimal position on the map. Even if it, well, I say optimal. An interesting position on the map, anyway. Now, the only slight thing now, we've consolidated a lot of our forces. We haven't got that much for capturing, so we might build... Maybe some new PT boats. Just just to use for capturing because they're dirt cheap and take some of their terrain and also give us an advanced bit of spotting on uh, where their ships are. Or we could do a plane, potentially. That's why we don't have. We don't have a scout plane. I suppose it would basically be the fighter, but then again, I suppose we could just build a couple more fighters and use those as scouts. Your route will be... Moving out. Moving out. Moving out. Moving out. Now, well, first of all, you're a boat. Now, if we take to go... Go to... Here. And moving now. And then if I do moving now. That should be a loop. That should be going. Okay, excellent. Oh. Receiving. Let's also give it some resources so it can definitely make the trip. And you are a cargo. Keep it 20% because we'll want to be able to. Um... Oh, right, yes, we've still got more building to do, haven't we? We need to build a couple. Of, we'll have maybe three fighters that are just used for uh, quickly taking territory. Yeah, it's just to load them from here because I'll also put them in their own uh, forces. You moving out. Uh, no, catch at 300. You can't really. F I don't know why it thinks moving they can fly all the way at 600. It's like, yes, they technically did that Listening. once, but they can't control themselves at that altitude. They only got to that moving because out. they were chasing something else that was flying at that height, and Listening. it basically all spiraled into an altitude uh, match, I guess. Right. Moving out. Is he actually gathering resources? Yes. Okay, so you don't actually have to... That's it. It's not a huge difference, but that does mean that you don't actually have to capture the enemy's resourcing areas to be able to pirate resources from them. Actually doing so without having proper control over that territory seems like it'd be very difficult, but... Can be done, apparently. Yeah, where is our other transport? Is that almost there already? What's there? Oh, enemy spotted. Listening. We're looking at heart of one ship. Oh, it's going to be really annoying if it manages to um destroy the salvager again. Receiving. Yeah, you know what? You're not really even Moving permanently down. installed there. That's fine. Move out the way ahead of time. The main fleet Listening. will try to stay where they are. Almost repairing itself gradually. Oh, you guys need resources. Uh, you guys should be... There we go. And we'll 
also if you guys 10k specifically oh it's sharing it out among all of them that's fine they've got a fight coming out won't be a bad idea to share resources for a minute it's annoying because that would have been stocking them up but I'd like to take that particular square of grid if we can we'll let it get right to point blank if we can as well Where? How are planes doing? They're already basically at location. Okay. Receiving. Oh, okay, how bad is a ta was it Tatra? Tatra? How dangerous are you? Probably not enough to beat us, given we've got our, uh, our newest cruiser up and running again. Oh, this is not going to be too bad at all. We might take some torpedo damage, but that's probably about it. And it's not even on a good angle to launch at at the moment. Yeah, it's not looking so good. It's fairly immune to torpedoes because it's so shallow in the water, but not to the rockets. Which has just locked out its frontal torpedo tube, which is good. Look, there goes the bomber having a good try. Fighters doing a successful strafing run. Look at them go. They're enormous compared to this destroyer, but. I swear this faction's built on a smaller scale than the others. It did get to launch torpedoes, which is annoying, but... I think it has killed itself doing it, yet. Yeah. Might be able to pull, them, pull the battle quickly before it uh, actually connect. Hey, hey, hey take that. <laughs> we pulled the battle, them out of battle before you could uh, hit the torpedoes. Ah, uh, annoyingly, that has pulled us off the point. That battle has bought them time to keep that zone. Moving now. Receiving. But Moving we could now. put the salvager back on the outpost. Yeah, actually, if the first air wing could Listening. head north, I'd like you guys to get me eyes on that zone. Oh. What's moving up over here? Zenta. Could they defeat it together? Uh, potentially, but not easily. Tell you what. Hold on that point for now. Let's see what happens. We're way faster than it. We'll never catch them. Maybe we need a bomber wing for chasing isolated ships like that. We've got the resources. We could do it, I suppose. Let's do that. Let's build a quick three-plane bomber wing that can hit uh, hit small fleets like that. Oh, the weather's getting nasty. Light bomber wing. Okay, let's get them out to here. Back up, your fellows. Let's get you actually flying in some sort of formation as well. Moving out. Yeah. Moving out. Listening. Moving out. Listening. Listening. Probably wait, right? I think those will catch up before that fight starts. Before that fight is forced to start, at least, anyway. 
Team transport didn't manage to load anything. Uh, oh, was the salvage? Is that because the salvage set the wrong thing? You need to be set to creator. Another ship approaching. Repairs were going well, so we should be alright. Admiral Spawn. Let's spawn. Moving now. Yeah, let's uh preempt them a little bit. We don't get the uh the base dragged into the fight. There's a lot more going on this episode. Appreciate it. A little bit more to do today. I think our fleet's in a good spot. I think we kinda of have enough ships for the moment to to be able to do some fighting for a little while. Uh, which is kind of the point I was hoping we'd get to. It's taken us a little while to get set up enough to really have a way to fight this campaign, if that makes sense. We should probably have the air wing on standby, but I'd rather not pull them off capturing duty, so the uh, our boys in the Navy will handle this. Although, I'm not sure what's going on with the Rocket Boys targeting, but that wasn't quite right. right what are we looking at with this one? This is the Admiral Spawn, right? Which is a slightly odd name to give for... What looks exactly like the Canton-class cruisers we've been seeing already. It's a bit bigger, but... It does have torpedo tubes, so we do have to keep an eye on those. Rocket setting. I mean, the B-type torpedo boats are doing good at the moment. At least landing hits. Weather's not so uh, kind, though. Waves are really kicking up. Destroyer just took a big hit. Oh, it might have been them, actually. I think the slowdown was our destroyer taking a big hit. Oh, that one wasn't. <laughs> well, their guns do explode nice when they go up. Yeah, I would like to get a second cruiser into our fleet soon. Which we'll probably have the resources for quite soon, to be fair, but... I would like to get one other one up, so we've got two, because they are... Our scariest ship. Don't you dare. I see you there about to hit that coastline. Turn. Away. Now, you idiot. In fact, no, four of us. Yeah, I'm gonna... Put this idiot in manual control and sail him myself. The helmsman in this uh, needs to be fired, I think. The one that's always trying to run into islands. Does it have its terrain avoidance set wrong, or is it just because it's so quick and it doesn't turn very well? Uh, hang on. Not even sure where the AI would be. Yeah, that's fine. It could just sit there and broadside for the minute. Yeah, note to self: never, if if can help it. Never involve the uh, cruiser in a fight near land. Or if I do, take control of it myself. Yeah, we got it though. Minor damage to the destroyer, everything else is okay. Stinked a little bit. Look at those armor layouts, they're so densely built, these things. A little surprised they even float. Right. Receiving. Moving now. Turn two for about the third time. Try to capture that point. Please. Meanwhile, we've got an air attack to do. What exactly is it they're going to be trying to bomb? Well, those guys are a bit close to the water. Yikes. Might need to fix that. Right. 
It is a... Oh, the Zenta. Right. This is a... I would say a World War One heavy cruiser by the look of it. I couldn't... I'm not sure... Kind of set on that, but... Primarily armed with not vertical facing guns, so this might be an easy... Is this even a heavy cruiser? This might even just be a cruiser, but... Either way, this should in theory be a very easy prey for a... Uh, our ship, but of course this is from the depths, so those guns actually will really might have a genuine chance of hitting our heavy uh, bombers and will do some serious damage to it. They're not fueled again either. God dang it. Always these guys that are out of resources when I get to them. Here they go on the bombing run. Yeah, APM bombs landing hits. This ship's basically too old to really have any dedicated AA. In fact, I think it has actually none. So it is, in theory, very easy prey even for our light bombers. As I think we will do later on, we'll build some heavier ones that do more uh, sort of high altitude drops rather than short range. Yeah, diving attacks like that, which are definitely a bit dangerous against some of the later game stuff. We are damaging it. It is taking damage. The fighters have been a bit stupid, but... They're not really meant to attack things that are in the water. Hey! Bomb hit directly on the rear turret. Which is still alive. Oh, it's on the, uh, it's the magazines for the secondaries. Wade into one of the ones that was in the water. Yeah, one of the bombers... In fact, two of the bombers are taking some notable damage. They must take an actual hit from its guns. They are messing the rear of it up with the bombs. We're taking some hits, but they are certainly two. He's about to sideswipe another one. Oh, perfect run. Very good. Yeah, for the cost of what we're attacking it with. Actually, I don't know if we'd necessarily break even or not, but... For the power of what we're fighting with, this thing presumably could be quite nasty against surface ships, but at least do some damage. Yeah, come on, guys. You can do it. What's the uh, what's the saying? Gambare, do your best. Go for it. Yeah, like that. More of those and those. Yeah, there they go. They heard me. They're doing their best. Helps that the <laughs> helps that the bombs keep tracking, even when they're in the water. That helps a lot. Yeah, all the bomb all the bombers have been hit. At least a little bit at this point, but nothing's down. Oh, okay, that fighter is down now. Yeah, it's knocked itself out by doing that. I don't know what was going on there, but I'll probably get torpedoed once they're in the water. I need to check if the fighters are, at some point. If I remember to, I need to set the some kind of minimum out to limit on the fighters so they don't dive that low. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to dive it, but they're... Or they're trying to match altitude, but they're not properly taking into account the fact there's water there, and you can't dive that low. Yes, I know you're playing... What the heck was that? You just kamikaze in a own bomber, you idiot! Uh... 
We might just have lost one bomber to that. I'm glad the fighter bought itself back online. That says it's having to build a new one, but that was incredibly bad maneuvering. The good news is, on an economy level, I think we're winning at the moment, and that's what ultimately will win us the war. It's if we can win fights and bring out new vehicles faster than they can, basically. I think we're winning on that at the moment. Slightly scuffed run, but good try. Yeah, the bombs are self-repairing in flight, because they've got the uh, got some light self-repair ability. That thing's not even firing back at us anymore. It's got a gun, but it must be out of ammunition, at least for the moment. Which might mean we've hit the magazines on this thing. Oh, there it goes. It's dead. Oh, destroy an enemy. Damage an enemy territory. Yeah. Bad luck, fella. But supposedly, in this case, you guys actually started this war, not us, so. Okay. Not too shabby, fellas. Apart from that one fighter. But both the fighters did pretty badly, but... Listening. Let's set it back to repair and then we can. Moving out. Oh, I shouldn't have done that yet. It's going to slow right down now, isn't it? Yep. Oh, well, that's fine. Guess we just have to deal with that because that's some weird mechanic they have. I don't know why it sets the speed when there's nothing there. It might even be quicker to just build a new one from the base, but. Yeah. Let's see if we can actually take some ground now. How about for resources? 50,000. That steam transport's coming with... 37,000. Okay. Cool, we've got some resources. Oh, there's another fight about to happen. Well, Receiving. we'll call that there for the day. Uh, oh, especially since that might be a big one. That's three ships. Hopefully you guys have all enjoyed. I know it's been pretty much entirely combat, but hopefully you've enjoyed that. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.